Hello again. You ready for another story? I hope so. Today we've got another story about Harry McClary. And today the story is called Harry McClary Scattercat. And it's about what Harry McClary gets up to when he tries to scare all the neighbourhood cats. Harry McClary felt bunchous and bustly, bossy and bouncy and frisky and hustly. He wanted to run, he wanted to race, but the main thing he wanted was something to chase. Grey Wacker Jones was hunting a bee. But along came Harry McClary and chased her high up in the sycamore tree. Greywacker Jones. Butterball Brown was washing a paw. But along came Harry McClary and bustled him under a rickety door. Oh, he is a noisy one, isn't he? Pimpernel Pew was patching a ball. But along came Harry McClary and chased her away over Pemberton's wall. Oh, woo, 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 woo. Meow. Away she goes. Slinky Malinky was down in the reeds. But along came Harry McClary and hustled them into a drumful of weeds. She had to get out of the way, didn't she? Silly old dog. Mushroom McGee was asleep Shh, on a ledge. But along came Harry McClary and chased her away through a hole in the hedge. There he goes. Poor catty. Down on the path by an old wooden rail, twitching a bit, was the tip of a tail. There it is. Is that a cat? With a bellicose bark and a boisterous bounce, Harry McClary was ready to pounce. Oh! But around came Scarface's claw. Uh-oh. He's met his match. Who bothered and bustled him, rustled and hustled him, raced him and chased him all the way home. Meow. Meow. Harry McClary knows who's boss, doesn't he? Bye bye. See you next time.